La Crosse County has a new way this week of measuring COVID-19 safety risk. The COVID-19 Compass Report is now gone. The Cooley COVID-19 Collaborative will provide the insight into how our community is doing with spread. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstead tells us what we can expect this Friday. This country has a problem it cannot see. People are trying to go about their lives in the midst of COVID-19. Health leaders like La Crosse County Health Director General Balski have a responsibility to help shine light on this invisible problem. Yeah, I think primarily this new model will really allow the data to speak for itself. La Crosse County used to show how severe COVID-19 spread was in the community. You know, the previous process was very transparent. We want this process to be as transparent as well. Like most information in 2020, research improves and the new information helps create new approaches to understanding virus risk in La Crosse County. The biggest difference is that it is more flexible and that it um, it doesn't have an overall indicator light. La Crosse County officials will release data from the Cooley COVID-19 Collaborative every Friday. The new risk assessment includes nine different markers to show COVID-19 spread risk level. The previous model, you know, wasn't perfect. No model is going to be perfect. The hope is this assessment will provide people with clear information so they can make informed decisions. Rumbalski says she has spoken with leaders in counties surrounding La Crosse. Data will be provided for those counties as well. It's just that the recommendation would be specific to La Crosse County. Neighboring counties would be responsible for their own recommendations regarding COVID-19 risk. Rumbalski says she's optimistic the community will follow health experts' advice based on this new data. Because when we work together like that, we can decrease spread, which is really what what this is about in La Crosse. This is Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now. Great Rivers United Way does a survey for its Compass Now assessment. Now that is a separate report to highlight community needs in the region. It is not related to the old COVID-19 Compass. And health leaders also ask you to fill out th that the survey, if you do end up receiving one, the deadline for this survey is August 28th.